This book is Amelia Bedelia's First Library Card. Amelia Bedelia loved books, and she loved to read. That's why she was so happy the day her teacher, Miss Edwards, took the class to visit the town library. Welcome to the library," said the lady in the lobby. "I am Miss Reilly, the children's librarian. We have lots of great things to show you. But first, one rule: there is no food, there is no food or drink allowed in the library. We don't want any icky stick books, icky sticky books, do we?" No! Shouted the class. Amelia Bedelia quickly finished her juice box. She wasn't really supposed to be drinking it anyway. She looked around for a place to put it. The library is great, she thought as she shoved her juice box into a handy trash can just for kids. Now let me show you how to return a book," said Miss Reilly. "You just slip it." In here, like this, he slid a book through the to the slot. Let's go see where it went and what happens next. Uh oh, thought Amelia Bedelia. Everyone followed Miss Reilly to see the bins. They caught the books. She reached into the bin and pulled out one crumpled juice box. We will check this into the trash. She said, dropping it into a waste paper basket. See why we don't like food or drink in this library? This book is wet and sticky. Now come with me," said Miss Reilly. "Let me introduce you to Thomas B. at the circulation desk. He is checking books and checking books out too. Hey, kids," says. Said Thomas B. Who wants to check in a book? Everyone took a turn with the book scanner. Beep beep beep. The librarians showed the class how books are sorted onto cars, onto carts, wheeled through the library, and put back exactly where they belong. We have books in. Every subject you can think of, said Miss Reilly, from history to art supplies, to art to sports to science, and there are lots of good stories in the stacks too. Amelia Patilia didn't see any stacks. She looked around for, for something in piles, like hay or pancakes, but all she saw, but all she could see was shelves of books. At last, they arrived at the children's room. This is my favorite place," said Miss Reilly. "Please make yourselves at home." "Hey," said Skip. "The fish are afraid of me. They can read," said Amelia Bedelia. "Said it sure makes them feel like lunch." Mrs. Reilly went to her desk and picked up a bundle of plastic cards. She moved the rubber band. She moved the rubber band and put it on her wrist. This is my librarian jewelry, she said smiling. Then she gave the cards to Miss Edward. Hooray! 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 Here's a library card for e- each one of you, said Miss Edwards. Now you can check out books whenever you like. The whole class cheered. Remember when we talked about how a library works, chickadees? Asked Miss Edward. The library shares these books with everyone in town. That's right. That is really. When you check one out, you are taking a turn with it. At our library, your turn lasts for three weeks. Penny raised her hand. What if you don't return your book on time? Well, you can renew it. And get extra time, Miss Reilly. But if you keep it past the due date, you get a fine. That sounded okay to Amelia Bedelia. Getting a fine was not as good as getting an X 
excellent, but it was not as bad as getting it terrible. We have a few minutes before we head back to school. So, Miss Edwards, please choose one book that you see the new library card to check it out. I'd like to check out this chapter book," said Don. "Terrific!" said Miss Reilly. "Let's try my finger test." She opened Don's book to the first chapter. As she moved across the page, Don read every word out loud. "Wonderful!" said Miss Reilly. "This is a perfect book for you." Now, does anyone need help? Miss really showed them where to find the chapter books, and picture books, and showed them where to find the books about famous people, and books about animals, and books by their favorite authors. Miss really even showed them a special shelf for audio books. These are for kids who like to read with their ears, she said. Amelia Bedelia this. Decided that she wanted to learn to to read with her eyes first. With so many books, it was hard for Amelia Bedelia to choose just one. She held up her fingers, shut her eyes, and twirled around and around. Ah, the winner of her finger test was on the top top shelf. Those are for older kids, said Miss Reilly. They're over your head. I know," said Mrs. Padilla. "That's why I need help." Come with me," said Miss Reilly. "I bet you'd like these books better. They're exactly on your level." Miss Reilly was right. Amelia Padilla could reach them all. She chose a book about cupcakes and got in line behind Teddy. Hey, Amelia Padilla. Said Teddy, "Which ones did I get?" Yeah, yelled Amelia Bedelia. Miss Reilly raised both eyebrows. Sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. I thought that I thought Tyrannosaurus Rex was gonna bite off my nose. I can't wait to read this to my little brother," said Teddy. He handed the other book to Amelia Bedelia. Here, he said, "Check this one out." Amelia Bedelia opened the book slowly and carefully. No teeth, no scales, no dinosaurs. This was one. This one was about clouds and the weather. Next, said Thomas B. I'm just checking this out. Said Amelia Bedelia. Looks interesting. Said Thomas B. May I see it along with your library card? Amelia Bedelia handed him both. Beep. Here we go," said Thomas B. "It's due back three weeks." Oh no! Amelia Bedelia was about to shout. Wait, that's a mistake. I don't want a book about clouds. I wanted this book about cupcakes. But just then, Miss Edwards called. Time to go back to school. Amelia Bedelia was furious. On her way out, she glared at the book return sh- slot. She felt like sho- shoving the silly weather book in right there, in there right this minute. But she wouldn't have a book to take home. This was supposed to be a great visit, but it started out badly and ended worse. Amelia Bedelia was still upset when she got home. She headed straight from for her swing, set, and swung as high as she could, trying to kick every cloud out of the sky. Then she lay down in the grass, looked up as the clouds grew bigger and bigger. Amelia Bedelia imagined imagined she could see all sorts of wonderful, happy things in them. She took her library book out of her backpack. She had just found the page that described the big stormy cloud above her when her mother called, "Amelia Bedelia, Aunt Mary is here!" "Hippie!" said Amelia Bedelia. Aunt Mary brought Amelia Bedelia a fancy purse, a perfect place, the perfect place to carry her new library card. Thank you. 
said Amelia Bedelia. This turned out to be a great day after all. You, you sound like you're on cloud nine, said Aunt Mary. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to look up cloud nine in her book. Boom! When the clap of thunder, it began to pour. Her book! Boom! Oh no! Said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the rescue. I'll be right back. We can't go outside, young lady," said her mother. "It's too dangerous." Another enormous boom rattled the windows. The lightning and thunder and rain didn't let up. It stormed all afternoon and through the night. Amelia Bedelia couldn't fall asleep for a long time. When she did, she dreamed about storm clouds filled with horrible, scary things. The next morning was sunny. Amelia Bedelia, but Amelia Bedelia's library book was completely soaked. The pages looked all wrinkled, like her fingers did when she stayed in the bu- bathtub too long. Amelia Bedelia was too upset to eat her breakfast. Is something wrong? Her dad asked. You look under the weather. I'm okay," she said. "But my library book was under the weather all night." "Yep," said her dad. "It practically pulp." Amelia Bedelia let out a sob. She thought only orange juice had pulp. "Oh, sweetie, accidents happen," said her mom. "I'll take you to the library after school. You can explain everything." That afternoon, Amelia Bedelia and her mother went to, to the library. My, my," said Miss Reilly. "You really did read up a snow storm." Amelia Bedelia's mother smiled and offered to replace the book. "Thank you," said Miss Reilly. "Amelia Bedelia, I can tell that you love books as much as I do." She put a rubber band on Amelia Bedelia's wrist. Here's an official li- librarian's bracelet just for you. Thanks," said Amelia Bedelia. "I know you don't allow food in the library, but they brought you a cupcake to say I'm sorry." Hmm," said Miss Reilly. "Can it pass my finger test? Can you really read the cupcake?" Amelia Bedelia asked. Miss Reilly took a swipe of frosting and tasted it. Yum! She said. Amelia Bedelia, I'm, I'm glad you brought this in for me to check out. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Amelia Bedelia accidentally put the juice box inside. The place where she's supposed to return books.